Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 7th, 2020. Yesterday I said 2019, uh, and, or excuse me, and um, I, it's getting hard. Uh, I'm having a difficult time switching over to 2020. So um, please forgive me on that. Hope everyone is doing well. Had a great day yesterday. We had quite a relentless attack by the bulls here. They were really tenacious, refusing to bow to any fears of retaliation by um, Iran. I'm, I'm not honestly sure where this confidence is coming from, but what I would tell you is that right now the bulls are absolutely relentless. This gap down yesterday, not only did it hold support levels here in the Dow, but it completely rejected the low, putting in a bullish engulfing candle by the end of the day. Now this morning we're looking at futures trying to push just slightly higher. They were really bullish overnight and they've kind of softened um, this morning here just a little bit. Right now Dow looking at just a modest gap up this morning. Little tiny move up this morning after such an exuberant move yesterday, just really defying um, any ideas that the geopolitical stuff is going to affect the market. So right now, looking pretty strong here in the Dow. Got to give this completely up to the bulls. Trend is bullish and we held support levels in the chart. So we're all bullish here at the moment. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very, very strong. Showing strength, holding price support bullish engulfing candle and it's also indicating just a tiny little bump up this morning very modest move up this morning trying to follow through now of course these could change as we start getting the economic numbers for today on the calendar we'll talk about those in just a second but right now bulls are in control we seem to have zero fear about what's going on over there in iran even though we have iranian generals you know promising retaliation we've got the u.s now warning all shippers um, in the middle east area um, to be on the watch out for attack they're expecting some kind of retaliation in some way, shape, or form. But so far, the market seems to just absolutely want to ignore it as if it didn't even occur. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also making that big move. In fact, there was a relentless push yesterday on really key stocks. Really key stocks yesterday trying to push this higher. And they got the job done. You know, they were pushing on Netflix and Amazon and Google and those really big sectors stocks that um, move the index and they got the job done they pushed us up substantially yesterday here in the queues and put us in that place where we could once again attack all-time highs on all three of the indexes diamond spy and queues um, with a little bit of push to the upside so pretty interesting um, how strong these bulls are and the fact that there's really no presence of the bears at all and that gives me a little bit of pause it makes me worry a little bit that we're becoming a little bit over exuberant um, in this market because the presence of the bears just don't seem to have any teeth at all uh, no ability to do anything that always gives me a little bit of a concern when we're just so one-sided in the market so watch this closely and be careful as you plan um, moving forward with these geopolitical issues going on and remember they can shift the market so quickly we need to be careful how we plan the risk of our trades moving forward in this environment so just watch that carefully i'm not trying to um, in any way shape or form say bearishness is is on the cusp here because i can't see that anywhere in the chart i just think it's prudent to be paying attention to that and not just have on rose colored glasses not seeing the dangers that may lie out there in front of us let's take a look at iwm now iwm did rally back yesterday but not nearly as bullish as the other indexes Putting in um, a nice little bullish candle here and testing, trying to recover this level of price support in the chart. But nothing um, 
overly bullish here, um, I would say. In fact, if I draw this trend, as I drew the other trends that held support, you can see we're challenging some resistance levels in the chart and resistance in that trend. So we'll want to keep an eye on IWM. IWM can be one of those indexes that lead the market. Let's just keep a focus on uh, these charts and, and keep an eye to those geopolitical concerns. Perhaps there's nothing to be concerned about, but we don't want to be diving in headfirst um, directly into danger. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, and I'm doing this ahead of the VIX this morning, and the T2122 indicator with this recent pullback has relaxed. So it's given us more upside opportunity um, in the market. Let's notice that we could push right up into here. We've got an open door here now for more upside, for no more record highs in the market. So we should be willing to see that in the chart. And despite the geopolitical concerns, we have that opportunity for that upside. But I want to also make note that don't see just one side of the market. Remember, it only takes one news report to really shift a market on geopolitical type, things like this. And we have a big open space to the downside. So if we did happen to catch that news, we want to be prepared um, with a plan to protect ourselves if the market does shift. Stay bullish but make sure you're prepared in case we do get that shift that causes us some major problems in the market and starts breaking down some of these technicals. That's, that's just the warning I'm, I'm putting out there. Be careful, don't be blind or, or blindly rushing in. And that's really typical um, of market tops where we get over exuberant at the tops and retail traders tend to rush in blindly at the end and um, never know when that reversal might come and they can get very damaged in that move. Let's take a look at the VIX. And you can see in the VIX, we rallied up. If I put my drawings on here, you can see we rallied up and hit that downtrend line as I suggested. And I suggested that the only major concern here in, in the VIX is if we actually break above and hold some area up in here as support. So, so far we've rejected this fear to the upside and we've held price resistance in this chart. I think that's bullish, uh, at least for the short term, uh, until we, uh, until or if we get another news report. So we're holding in here very well. Fear seems to be dropping out of the market here just a little bit. Let's watch that closely. One thing I want to point out is although we are rejecting this area up here, let's notice that we closed the day yesterday holding this little higher level of support doesn't mean it will hold throughout the day, but just keep in mind that it has elevated just slightly. And I'm going to show you some places where I'm seeing that and some contradiction um, in, in these things. If we take a look at um, uh, gold prices, gold prices would seem to be flying in the face of the VIX saying that there's no fear in the market yet at the same time we have the VIX uh, I mean gold rising substantially here uh, pushing for upside targets um, strongly because we do have some fear here in the market apparently um, coming in and we want to watch that pretty closely because um, it's hard to know what comes next in a situation like that when we see gold spiking so dramatically and going very, very parabolic, breaking out of resistance. It seems very relentless. So in that move, that really kind of flies in the face of the VIX saying that there's no fear when we're seeing so many people f uh, flood into a safety um, commodity um, such as gold trying to look for some protection. Other places that I think are kind of interesting is you can actually see some of those safety places um, such as bonds. Um, if we take a look at XLE, XLE has been rising um, strongly as well in this um, energy prices, uh, particularly oil like OIH. 
um, rising substantially. Yesterday at one point in time, oil hit $70 a barrel. So when we start seeing oil going up substantially, just keep in mind that that can have and will likely have, if it continues to rise, a negative effect on market indicators. Consumers will have less money to spend. Businesses will have more expenses to get their product um, uh, produced and out. And that can have a negative effect on the market. So just remember not to put on those rose colored glasses. Look at the um, all the aspects of the market and where that could um, possibly show up. One of the places that I think is kind of interesting is there's even um, some move um, in bonds to the upside that um, I think is kind of interesting. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things on it that could definitely move us around uh, for the day. And as you can see, we have international trade in goods this morning at 8.30 a.m. So before the market opens, that kicks off. Then we have factory orders and then the ISM number. So keep that in mind. We do have a few things that could move us around. Um, and we'll just want to focus on that. With very little on the earnings calendar, we have 10 companies reporting earnings. Uh, a good portion of those are unconfirmed earnings reports and of the companies that are reporting there really isn't anything of particular note um, in those earnings reports this morning so we'll be looking to the news and to that economic news for inspiration um, on the day apologize that's the blog um, popping up there so um, we'll want to keep a close eye um, on that let's take a look um, at a few um, stocks that might be setting up but before we do that if you guys would do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos could you click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that thumbs up button when um, it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos the purpose of these videos is to provide good solid information without hype without drama without all of the prediction that you might see in other places and if you find that to be helpful if you find that helpful and in, in help putting kind of grounding you in the technicals of the day the things we might want to be keeping an eye on if you find that to be helpful please do me a favor click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment um, and please feel free to share this video with anyone share it on Facebook Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media platform you use um, to help us grow this channel because um, I can tell you for me after trading nearly 15 years full time, um, this kind of preparation work has saved me um, more times than I can count and actually put me in the driver's seat rather than being, um, uh, you know, being emotionally charged when I um, approach the market for the day. So if you find this helpful, please help me out and um, support the channel. Thank you very much for everyone who does that. You guys are awesome and your comments, oh my gosh, your comments are so kind. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's um, take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and remember that every time I show you a stock that may be setting up in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever. It is a um, just a simple look at um, charts that could be setting up and things that we might want to be paying attention to uh, for um, the, the day ahead, the week ahead, and they're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Okay, let's take a look at um, Halliburton. I mentioned Halliburton yesterday and Halliburton trying to rally up here. You can see I had a price alert on that chart. We popped through, pulled back, and then popped back up yesterday. That's one of those oil sector stocks that's showing a lot of strength and looking really good. And you can probably go through lots of oil sector stocks and find that kind of nice uh, bullishness showing up in there. So if you're looking for some of that bullishness, in those charts take a look over there you might want to take a look at um, some of the mining stocks like NEM Newmont mining this is a gold miner been bouncing around up here in this level but with gold prices rising we might see some of these um, 
um, miners start to rally up as well. So keep those in mind for charts that may be of interest to you. Take a look at Nike. Nike has held up really, really strong, been very, very um, healthy here, moved out and consolidating over here to the trend. We're looking at blue sky highs here in Nike. There seems to be no um, backing off here and really no fear um, right now of the geopolitical issues out there. So keep an eye on Nike. It's looking very, very strong. Brought up Shopify yesterday to um, the folks in RWO. Uh, Shopify, really nice bullish move yesterday. Breaking through resistance highs, showing lots of strength here. I know this is an expensive stock and maybe not one that a lot of people can trade, but keep an eye on this. When we start seeing these retail stocks showing this much strength, it's pretty interesting to make note of. Um, another retail stock that we brought up yesterday was Macy's. Macy's breaking this downtrend, been a long-term downtrend here in Macy's. Um, had a nice little bottoming formation that's come in here. Macy's making a nice little morning star pattern here off of trend. And it's also breaking above here its 50 day moving average. So this is like what we call one of those rounded bottom breakouts. We do have some price resistance right in here, but I'd put a target up here around two, uh, that 200 day moving average. Um, it seems pretty logical to me. And there's a, a pretty good opportunity in that chart, um, almost 11% up to that 200 day and filling that gap in the chart. So keep an eye on Macy's looking pretty good overall. One of the things that I had mentioned um, um, before that I thought was really interesting is HYG. Take a look at the corporate bonds here. Corporate bonds in a market hitting all time highs, record highs and ignoring anything geopolitically. And we're seeing bonds move higher with gold. That should give you a little pause, a little concern in the market. Let's watch that close. I don't want to be the guy out there saying the sky is falling, but there is reason to be a little bit suspicious of this no fear environment um, that we're seeing in the market. Let's take a look at Baidu. Baidu, nice move here in Baidu. You can see moving up breaking through holding this resist or support area now and has an upside gap in here that could be filled in this chart baidu showing some strength it still could consolidate a little bit more as you can see to hold that trend we may have to rest a little bit more in here so there's probably no particular rush into this but baidu looking very very strong here showing some good signs of upside possibility another one that i took a look at yesterday is paper PayPal. PayPal doing something uh, good here. You can see holding this trend, breaking through this resistance. Nice bullish candle yesterday, holding this strength. Kind of looks like PayPal might want to catch up and move on up through uh, this chart. So something to watch. And another trade that um, I'm actually in is Starbucks and Starbucks making this nice little resting pullback, pulling back to price support here and showing some signs that it may still have some energy for upside. So let's keep an eye on this. It's possible that could move on up now that we've finally reached over here to trend and get those bulls going and fire that up to the upside. So a few charts for you to take a look at, a few things for you to consider um, and um, Hopefully um, this is a true bullish move that there's not a uh, an over exuberance here and hopefully Iran does calm down a little bit the situation the tensions between the US and China calm down so that we don't have any additional violence um, cropping up over there creating some issues for the market so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading once again if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button I truly appreciate it click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you guys are awesome I wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.